Hello, this is Chris Hewer for DigiFX. Welcome to this Freeform AE tutorial. Today we're going to be working on one of the effects that I've tried over and over to do with After Effects and never really succeeded, and that is create a true three-dimensional film strip that bends and weaves. So this is kind of a long one. We're going to break it into two parts. This is part one. Let's get started. If you want to open the project that came with the, uh, the tutorial, you'll see two files in there. One is footage, it's got three movies in it, and one is graphics, and it only has one PSD in it. Let's grab that graphic, drag it down to the new comp icon, and that'll give us a small composition. Let me switch to full quality here. And what you see is film perfs. We've removed the images that were in here and just kept the film perfs on the side. So what we're going to do is put our own movie inside here. So let's go ahead and take our top footage backlit overtake. Some nice footage I shot in St. Michael's, Maryland. And let's go ahead and scale it down, grab the corner, hold down shift, and scale it just so it's inside so you don't see it poking through the, the film perfs there. Right about there, maybe even hit S and just hold down the Apple key and just shrink it a tiny bit more right there. You just don't want to see it peeking through the holes there. And once that's done, let's grab that layer, drag it to the bottom, can zoom in once, and just tap down a few times until we're all the way to the bottom there. Looks good. Now I just want to fill this up with the same image. It's going to take three copies to do that, so let's highlight the footage and duplicate it. Take the layer, hit V if you're not on the Move tool, and then I'm going to grab it, hold down Shift, and drag straight up. You want to just kind of eyeball the space between them. We're going to want to end up having the same space between all three of these clips. Let's highlight the new clip and duplicate it one more time. Once again, grab, hold down Shift, and drag it straight up. And what I want to do is space these. You can just use the arrow keys to get them close. I'm going to have about the same spacing between them and also at the top here. We're going to stack this on top of itself, and so having a gap here will make it nice, kind of like a seamless loop. So that looks pretty good to me. Once that's set, let's go ahead and move the pre comp it made out of the graphics folder. And if you just want to click on it once, hit return, let's call it three frame. So this is going to be our base, it's three frames. And let's go ahead and drag that down to the new folder icon. Let's just tidy up by putting it in a pre comps. Pre comps folder. There we go. And we'll open that up. There's one more thing we need to do here. Our film is this dark shade of brown, and we've got black between our images here. So let's go ahead and make a new solid. We'll make the solid the same color as the film. Just sample the brown there, make it comp size, hit OK. And let's drag that down below all the footage. And so we're pretty good, except we're now filling in these holes. We don't want that, so let's take our mask rectangular tool there, and let's just click just inside the edge. Let's just zoom in a little once we've drawn the initial mask, and double click your mask. You want a little bit of the film edge peeking under the mask on both sides. You want to see a little of it inside the mask. And once that's done, you can double click to OK it, we can turn that off, and now we have a nice seamless brown behind all of our footage. All right, the other thing we want to do is make sure your comp is 10 seconds long. That's where mine is now. Make sure your comps are all 10 seconds long for this project. Okay, once that's done, let's go to three frame. Let's duplicate it. Hit save. Let's change the name of our new pre-comp to film strip. What we're going to do is make a long film strip out of this. So we want to go into film strip, double click, and hit save again, and let's highlight everything in here and delete it. We don't want the original file. We want to drag the three frame pre comp in there. There we go. So now we've got three frame inside a film strip, and it looks good, except we want to make the comp much taller. So let's go ahead and hit Apple or Control K. That's going to give us our composition settings. Our height is currently 516. Let's click on that. And I'm bad at math. I'm going to let After Effects do the work. We're going to click just behind 516, hit the star key on your numeric keypad, and then 8. That is times 8. So we're going to multiply this by 8 times its height. Hit OK. And there we go. We now have a nice long comp. All right, so let's go ahead and take our three-frame pre-comp. Let's hit the V key, the Move tool. Drag it to the top. 
Once you get close, you can go ahead and zoom in. And then just sort of eyeball it in there. You want to make sure that this kind of, there's kind of a little white edge to this one perf. I didn't clean that up so well, but it doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure that's visible because this is going to stack on top of itself and you don't want to bump it up out of the frame there. So one or two, let's go right about there. Make sure you can see the bottom of that. It'll line up with the bottom of this. All right, now that we've done that, let's just start to duplicate these three frames. Just highlight the pre-comp ones, hit Control or Apple D. And I want you to select the bottom of the two. I want these visibly to be in the same stack order as these. It just helps you tell which one's where. So with the bottom one selected, let's grab the film, hold down Shift, and drag it down below the other one. And then use your arrow keys just to snug it up, make this hole resemble the others. You can use the space bar to get the hand tool, slide up a little. Let's take the bottom frame. Let's Apple D, Control D to duplicate it. Let's select the bottom one again. Shift, drag down, and just use your arrows to fine tune it. I think that was one too far. There we go. And then we'll use the space bar, slide up. Let's go ahead and Apple or Control D one more time. Drag, hold down Shift, and snug that one up as well. Looks good. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit. And we've got four done. This is eight tall. We multiplied it by eight times the height. So let's just take these four, highlight them all, hit Apple or Control D, and duplicate them all at once. And if you grab one of the highlighted clips and drag it just below the bottom unhighlighted clip, you'll move all of your new frames to the bottom. Now we can just come up here, hit the V key again, click and drag all four of them into place. And I'm going to leave a little black right here so I can zoom in. It's kind of hard to tell where you're zooming in if you don't leave a gap. This is so repetitive. Once you're in pretty close, you can switch back to the Move tool and just tighten this up. Now, if you hold down the space bar and drag to the bottom, what usually happens is you have a little gap here. And it varies every time I do this. But if you highlight your bottom frame and just use, make sure you're at 100% uh, scale because that is one pixel for every tap of your arrow key. I'm going to tap the arrow key down. One, two, three, four. So we are four frames off. We'll tap back up. One, two, three, four to put that back in place. And now we want to, quick way to fix this is just to shrink down our comp a bit. So I'm going to hit Apple K, Control K on a PC. And we are at 4128, so we're going to want to go to 4124. You can either enter that manually or be lazy like me and just do minus four. And that'll trim it up. Uh, our bottom's still a little short. So let's just highlight all of our layers again, and then just use the down arrow key. One, two, because we moved up four, or we trimmed it four, so we want to just adjust by half of that. Let's go check the top. We should be square at the top there. There we go, there's our film perf, not sticking off the edge anymore, so we look good. All right, so we can go ahead and do a couple more tweaks to film strip before we get out of here. The first tweak is we want to animate this in. Let's zoom out a little bit. On our original movie, you'll see the film is animating in. And I did not do that in freeform. This is just one mesh warp and the animation is moving through it. So what we want to do is go back to After Effects and let's make animate, let's animate this film strip in. So we've got eight different layers here. I want to control them all at once. So let's make a new Null object, and let's name this Move. And then let's highlight all eight layers and parent them to the Move Null. Hit the Move Null object, hit P. Now we've opened the position property. Let's go to 10 frames. And I want to do my first keyframe right on 10. So let's just go ahead and make a keyframe for position there. And I want this move to end around four seconds. So I'm going to click right on four seconds and put an end keyframe. Now the end is where we want the film all the way in. So we're there. So let's just hit the J key, go back to the first keyframe. I'm going to move on the Y axis. Use the Y uh, property here. And you can just drag and move it up or down. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key to speed up my drag. Get it just outside the frame there. That looks good. And now over time, we're going to translate down. Let's also put on motion blur for all of these